Uh, concrete Reality, we started in like 2008. Me, Matt Stone, Chuck Pashevsky, Adam Belvedudo, and Lenny Haleva. We started that band. We were playing uh, probably about a year and a half, and then uh, Jack hit me up on the internet saying they were looking for a second guitarist because he was having kids and uh, there was going to be shows that he wasn't going to be able to play. So that's why they brought me on in like 2009. So that's how I got linked up with them and I've been playing with them for the past three and a half years. And both bands have been fun. Shit. I probably first started talking to Carl 2004, 2005 and the rest of the dudes shortly after that. So they knew me pretty well before then and then uh, I think they just saw that I could actually play an instrument so they figured bring me on, you know what I mean? And so I was playing with them ever since. Uh -huh. Um, I was probably 12 or 13. Um, my friend's older brother, uh, who lived in Jessup, he was way into like Earth Crisis and VOD and 25 to Life. I hated VOD, I hated 25 to Life, but I loved Earth Crisis. And so I was got into Earth Crisis. From there, um, older kids we hung out with got us into like Strength for Reason and stuff. And I remember the first time I saw Strength for Reason was uh, in Jessup at Club Millennia. And I was like little, and it was awesome. And uh, I couldn't drive or nothing, but I knew shows because I knew Matt Hudak then at the time. Uh, he sings for Stick Together now. But at the time, he was just Matt Hudak, and uh, he was catching rides down to Wilkes-Barre, but none of us, the rest of us, were able to get down there, because that's where all the shows were. But it wasn't until a couple of years after that, like, I could catch a ride here and there. But then once I started driving, I was always just consistently going to shows. I just, uh, I guess, I don't know, I don't want to say I was, like, like an angry person, <laughs> but... I guess we were like a rowdier bunch, you know, like, uh, so the aggressive music definitely appealed to me, the energy, the vibe, just everything, and it was just like, uh, natural, just like second nature, I loved it, still love it. <laughs> that, that's sweet, I like when there's three a month, cause it fucking, it keeps you hungry, like, alright, three or four shows a week, you're gonna get smaller turnouts, where, cause it's like, I'll just go to the next show, when it's like, now it's like, we had Redwood uh, all last year, and we were getting awesome shows, and, and it was awesome. It was packed all the time because before that it was kind of like a drought and everyone was hungry. But then I think people start to get a little lax, and since then there hasn't been a show in the area, but they're going to rent out a fire hall down by Nanico can do a couple shows, and I'm sure they're going to be good turnouts because there hasn't been fucking anything going on up here, so everyone's hungry, you know what I mean? It keeps you hungry, it keeps you going. So I definitely, I don't want to say I like when there's no shows up here because I fucking hate it, but the shows that do come in between that gap, I think are a lot better. Like everyone gets along a lot more as opposed to, it seems like when we have a, a little bit of a steady venue, people get fucking a little, I guess a little comfortable. You know what I mean? Like a little comfortable and no one, they get into like little clicks, but then when everyone can't go to a show and then they go to a show, oh, I haven't seen you in a while, oh, you've been yada yada, everyone's fucking friends then. But when there's shows all the time, everyone kind of, there's, everyone kind of separates because it's like high school, you go there every fucking day and there's little clicks, you know? Back, like people hate on backstage that was in Kingston, but that was cool, like that dude was cool, he's kind of like, wacky but like uh it was cool you could just like i done it i booked shows there and it would just be like okay here's how much the split's gonna be and you could book fucking whatever you want to book and i always thought that was cool people hated on that guy because i don't know everyone some people had their fucking nose in the air but at the same time those people had to go to him because he had a fucking stage and a sound system so that was sweet redwood Redwood was real sweet. Um, I honestly, I mean, sound sucks in fire halls and stuff, but it's more raw. It shows dedication, like, dedication, you know what I mean? Like, at the Warrior Run Fire Hall, they built, like, a little stage and stuff, Matt Ren and all them dudes. And, like, uh, fucking people in Anacoke were doing uh, the Koi Club. 
um, the Italian fucking Citizens Club or whatever, just all those like random VFWs, there's like a tight show at the Italian Club, I think it was, or it's a Polish club, American Citizens Club. It was like Trapped Under Ice, Wisdom and Chains, like a big, mm. a bigger bill. It was like 200 people and like, you know, and there was just dudes drinking in the bar next door that probably thought like, who let the fucking lunatics out, you know what I mean? I can't imagine not having it. It's, it just never crossed my, like sometimes I'll think, I'll be like, what I, what, what was I into before I was like into hardcore? And like, I think I just got into it so long ago that it's fucking... It's just in me, you know what I mean? It's just part of who I am. I love it. I just want to make a comment, like, on, like, today's scene and the scene before me, I guess. I hate using the word scene, but the hard, hardcore in the area. Before me, there was, like, uh, there, was a, I, there was always, like, a rift between, like, uh, it seemed like Wilkes, it was, like, wilkes Bear Hardcore, and then the the surrounding areas were all friends with each other, which was always fucking weird. But there'd always be times when we'd fucking come together and go back out. And that divide to me was always just so fucking weird. And it was before my time, and then... Past couple years, it wasn't bad, and then all of a sudden, it just... It seems like with every venue comes the fucking divide. That's why I said when there's, like, the DIY shows, everyone's fucking friends. And... I don't know. I just think that shit's fucking whack. There shouldn't be any divide. No one should think they're better than anyone, and everyone should be fucking welcome. That's all I have to fucking say. I don't know. Peace and love.